on that Windows icon and then settings to pause your updates, right? And then we're going to go down to Windows Update. And then we're going to scroll all the way down. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Okay, so you can pause your updates for whatever you want. One week, two week, three weeks. We have a couple of options here, up to five. So this can be useful. Say you're doing some work and you want absolutely nothing to go wrong. Well, then pausing your updates is a great idea. Uh, some different things like that. Perhaps you'll be out of the country. And as you can see, once you select it, it automatically goes into this pause mode and you have a little pause button. Um, and if you decide, you can change it even to extend it and extend it and extend it for as long as you need. So probably, or for example, if you're getting a blue screen error from an update and you're waiting for them to release some sort of patch to fix it, then you could just keep extending it for a period of time to keep your computer rolling. Um, and if you change your mind, you think, uh, maybe I don't want to pause it for as long as I've been doing it. Well, then you can go back in after closing it, go back to Windows Update like I did previously. And then you just hit the fancy dancy resume updates button. It's that easy. So it's a good little feature to know about Windows. Can be very helpful. Uh, yeah, and so that is how you do it. But from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.